Hey, this is John from Comic Craft. I'm going to show you how to use our new Mighty Mouth font with variable font technology. I'm working in Adobe Illustrator CC 2019 and I've installed the variable font, which is just a single font file inside the variable folder right here, Mighty Mouth GX.TTF. If you're working in an earlier version of Illustrator, um, you want to install either the OpenType or the TrueType files like usual, because only CC 2019 recognizes variable fonts. This is pretty cool that we've got a page of Elephant Men up here, and I've pre-lettered it in the Mighty Mouth Regular. And as you can see, Mighty Mouth Regular has the usual weights, italic, bold, bold italic. But it also has a cool new feature if you click right here on the variable font adjustment. You can actually make the font slightly bold slightly italic and a brand new feature it's got bounce so you could if you slide this on over it shifts the letters up and down automatically so if i back it off here and add a little bit of italic and a little bit of bold you can see now the weight up here says custom but if you set it all the way to italic and all the way to bold then it automatically snaps to bold italic so it's a pretty nifty feature. You can use it, you know, like a normal font with your normal weights, or you can fine tune it and add just a little bit of bounce, highlight just one word. So like we could take the word R and give that the bounce and the bold, and then maybe take these letters, back them off a little bit, just a little bounce. So you can see you've got quite a few options now with this font. Um, it's useful for lots of different situations. Like here we've got an uh, so like a really soft sound. Maybe we want to give that some bounce, a little bit of italic. You can see Mighty Mouth is also substituting adjacent letters. You can see when we type two H's next to each other, it automatically substitutes the alternates. And if we scroll down, you can also use it for shouting so here we've got an ev Yvette let's make it louder let's make it all the way bold let's make it a little bit italic and let's give it some bounce and maybe scale it up a bit so great for shouts too so that's a look at the new mighty mouth variable font from comic craft check it out at comicbookfonts.com